Now, moving on to Jonte Porter. This story is really heartbreaking. So the Toronto Raptors, uh, Jonte Porter, is banned from the NBA for life for betting on games. This news comes as a slap on the face. How can a promising basketball player such as Jonte be so stupid to throw away millions of dollars in salary for $20,000 worth of sports betting? Doesn't make sense. Betting is legal in America. The reasons why Jonte is losing his contract with the NBA is for two main reasons. Number one, he shared confidential information to bettors and waged on NBA games. Number two, he bet against the Raptors, a team that he actually plays for. But guess what? He bet against it, but then the team won, so he lost that bet. The NBA released a communication that reads, the NBA announced today that John T. Porter, a two-way player recently under contact with the Toronto Raptors, has been banned from the NBA. A league investigation found that Porter violated league rules by disclosing confidential information to sports bettors, limiting his own participation in one or more games for betting purposes and betting on NBA games. The league's investigation found that prior to the Raptors' March 20th game, Porter disclosed confidential information about his own health status to an individual he knew to be an NBA better. Another individual with whom Porter associated and knew to be an NBA better subsequently placed an $80,000 parlay proposition bet with an online sports book to win $1.1 million wagering that Porter would underperform in the March 20th game. The league's investigation also found that Porter limited his own game participation to influence the outcome of one or more bets on his performance in at least one Raptors game. In the March 20th game, Porter played only three minutes, claiming that he felt ill. Due to the unusual betting activity and actions of the player, the $80,000 proposition bet was frozen and was not paid out. In addition, from January through March 2024, while traveling with the Raptors or Raptors um, 905, the Raptors NBA G League affiliate, Porter placed at least 13 bets on NBA games using an associate's online betting account. These bets ranged in size from $15 to $22,000 for a total of $54,000.94. The total payout from these bets was $76,000.59, resulting in net winning of $21,965. None of these bets involved any game in which Porter played. Three of the bets were multi-game parlay bets that included one Raptors game in which Porter bet that the Raptors would lose. All three best bets lost. The suspicions bets involving Porter's performance in the Raptors' March 20th game were brought to the NBA's attention by licensed sports, betting operators, and an organization that monitors legal betting markets. These findings are based on the information available to the league investigators at this time. The league's investigation remains open and may result in further findings. The NBA has shared and will continue to share information with federal prosecutors about this matter. NBA Commissioner Adam Silver said, there is nothing more important than protecting the integrity of NBA competition for our fans, our teams, and everyone associated with our sports, which is why John T. Porter's blatant violations of our gaming rules are being met with the most severe punishment. While legal sports betting creates transparency that helps identify suspicious or abnormal activity, this matter also raises important issues about the sufficiency of the regulatory framework currently in place, including the types of bets offered on our games and players. Working closely with all relevant stakeholders across the industry, we will continue to work diligently to safeguard our league and game.
John Day is 24 years old. He has played 26 games for the team and is the first player ever in the history of the National Basketball Association to be banned for life. High profile betting as sports gambling is more and more scrutinized by sports associations. The last scandal that was dealt with involved the basket, the um, baseball, rather, the baseball player Shohai Otani's interpreter, Ipemi Zohara, who was charged with fraud after allegedly stealing millions of dollars from the Dodgers superstar. More and more of these situations will reoccur. Sports betting must be banned, period. And that's our opinion. We wish John T. well. If he loves betting that much, he should seek a career in it. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comment below.